AW Phoenix Fiesta is a tying game to the anime The Asterix War. It turns the Phoenix Fiesta tournament arc into a combination of dating sim and light action RPG. Um, it's like for example Naruto or Dragon Ball Z on the PSP where the game is a bunch of dialogues with lots of fighting in between, only that this time you get dating too. The dating part goes that you play as a guy who just got admitted to a school for people with superpowers, Seidukan Academy, and you are just lucky enough to have all the attractive female students after you. But fans of the series see that the dialogues aren't that well written and that the characters are rather bland. At the start of the game you can choose either a custom character or the main character from the anime. The main character has better stats because he has 2 months of training in the game by the time you start the game and your character, I mean your custom character on the other hand starts with really low stats because he doesn't have those 2 months of training. And you will have to do 3 things to get stronger. Training which boosts your character's stats job in which you play a combat minigame for money and appointments which allow you to schedule duels to increase your ranking and dates to boost your affection with other girls and when you manage to affectionate a girl well enough you can ask her to be your partner as for the other part of the game the combat it's a hack and slash kind of game that has the tendency to feel repetitive but still remains enjoyable throughout the game. Because even if you end up doing basically the same thing over the game, there's enough variety in missions to avoid total repetition. But still, even if the variety isn't varied enough, I mean you still end up doing kinda the same thing, the slight twist in missions is enough to see the gameplay. I mean, you're doing the same thing but in a slightly different way. which saves the gameplay or at least that's how I and other few reviewers see it. Overall the game is mostly bland. The story doesn't hook you, it doesn't have suspense, the characters don't behave like themselves and the gameplay has a tendency to be repetitive. So while it's not a bad game, it isn't one to go crazy about either, as it's pretty bland.